Happy fall, everyone, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Sauce TV Monthly. I'm Allison Mace of Sauce Magazine. It's been 20 years since we started printing sauce, but now we feel it's time to start something new. As you know, the culinary scene is exploding in St. Louis, and sauce is growing right along with it. Each month, I'm going to take you on a journey of the hot and happening things in this city. So let's go. As I mentioned, St. Louis is on fire with all the new developments and restaurant ventures going on, like in the Cortex, where 23 City Blocks has opened its upscale restaurant, The Chocolate Pig. A little over a year ago, they opened their doors. Let's find out what it takes to make a new restaurant thrive and survive. Going through a full year is incredibly difficult, but also you build relationships and um, you build team members. It's the team that really deserve all this credit. They're the ones that put their heart and soul into it. I love when I can show someone how to do something and have them reproduce it the next day and the day after. I love when people can take my advice and run with it and I think that is my favorite part. With a great team and countless diners, the time has come for their one year anniversary. Let's see how you can get in on that special occasion. So we'll be coming up on our first year anniversary here at the Chocolate Pig and we're holding a big celebration to celebrate our success this year with all of our guests and our staff. That'll be on November 15th from 3 to 7 p.m. We'll have some live music from our local favorite, Kristen Goodman. We'll have some specialty chef's choices on our food options as well as our desserts. And we'll be having some special birthday cocktails as well. We're looking forward to sharing the success and celebrating our future growth with everybody. Our, our people have just the best attitudes and create an environment that is fun and healthy and um, it's great to come in here every day. From the new innovative Cortex neighborhood to the well-established melting pot of diversity, the Del Mar Loop, it's where people come to live, listen, and of course eat. Did you know there are over 20 different cuisines happening on the Del Mar Loop and more coming every day? Let's go take a look. There are so many restaurants down here that uh, if I want to do seafood, if I want to do barbecue place, if I want to do Mexican, if I want to do pizza, choices are amazing. Now, the good thing about the Loop is that it, it draws from every area in St. Louis. Like any, any walk of life you'll find in, in the Loop. I've been going to the Loop since I was probably in junior high and it's always been like kind of the cool place to go absorb some culture, have some diversity. Well I find the Loop is really so exciting and it it attracts so many different people to come in. We get a lot of WashU students, and that's diverse, you know what I'm saying, from all type of races and cultures. And for us, the Loop, anybody comes to the Loop, you can get whatever you want. I think it's the diversity of all the, all the different types of restaurants and all the different types of cuisines. Uh, and we've seen a number of new places open on our end of the Loop. We're on the East End over this past uh, year, so the Loop's a happening place. We're always hungry, and we're always looking for a place to eat. And you know, we can uh, come to the Demo Loop, and it's a variety of restaurants. A lot of people just like to come and indulge in, you know, so I'm really grateful for that. There's something for everyone to know. When it comes to our food, the choices that we make don't only affect our health, but they affect the local economy and our environment. This is why the Missouri Coalition for the Environment has raised awareness now for their new program called Known and Grown. Let's check it out. Missouri Coalition for the Environment is a statewide environmental advocacy organization. The reason why MCE works on food is because how and where our food is grown has an impact on our health and our environment. We're excited in our 50th year here in 2019 to launch Known and Grown STL. Known and Grown is a regional brand for environmentally responsible farmers within 150 miles of St. Louis. Our farmers don't use pesticides, and they don't confine their livestock, and they treat animals ethically, and they have environmentally responsible growing practices. Restaurants really want local responsible food. They truly do. It's just very hard for them to get it. So having an organization like ours vet these farmers and communicate with chefs is really great for the chefs to be able to then just say, great, let's put it on the menu. 
It's really important for consumers to know where their food is coming from because local farmers really need our support, for one thing. Another thing is it's really important to know where your food is coming from due to health considerations, both for you and for the environment. Thanks, guys, for checking out Sauce TV Monthly, and thank you, John, for having us here at Parker's Table. Thank you. Stay tuned next month. I look forward to showing you some more amazing places around our city. But until then, dine, drink, and live well. <laughs>